and welcome to round three with Naya Tokens, where we are actually on the play for once. Which hopefully means I just get to curve out on my opponent and kill them very easily. This hand does not do that. This hand does, and I have to think about how to sequence. So I need to cast this Oath Anissa here. On turn one or two to Nisa. Hmm. Well, so I'm gonna oath. Do I actually want that card? Kind of don't here. I guess I could have needles. Eh, that doesn't work. Yeah, I'll oath again here, because if I hit pacifist as my only thing, I'd rather cast it on two than not do things. Um, I like Nahiri over these other cards. Especially, Abby just seems terrible in this deck. I'd almost rather have uh like a pain land that's just sort of off color. Well, that's good. So we're playing against I'm guessing my opponent is uh Atarka rights. Oh. What? What what's happening? They're just like painland stuff. I always wanted to hear this. Especially because I get to Nisa plus Dramoka's next turn. This is actually kind of an interesting spot. I guess my opponent gets to pick off Nahiri, which is fine. I'm not really that happy with Nahiri right now on this battlefield. Is this Castigator? Ah. Okay. So I end up losing both Planeswalkers this turn. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to Nisa. Use the ability. And just do this main phase. the second smasher, I'm in a bit of trouble. Okay, that's a huge issue. I don't really know what my plan is against that. Well, throwing everything away is clearly wrong. I think I just take. This way I can draw an ant. Uh, okay, okay. It's a good one. Don't have something good, please. Powerful, awesome magic card. I'm going to get kill spelled or counter spelled. Ugh. 
Ugh. Now. If I do this, and then I get to Linvala. And making the 3-3 three, three doesn't matter either way. I should do this. I guess I'd die to a kill spell if I do this. I don't think I can beat a kill spell in the long run anyways. Yeah. Oh, that was actually a mistake for a different reason. What, what just... Oh, I just got... I was just dead anyways. Um, the reason that was a mistake was I actually needed to take a pain to cast the Linvala. So that was not how I was supposed to block. <sighs> so I want Tragic here. I probably want Dramoka because it matches up well against that idiot. Smasher. I think Dex probably good. This card's good because it kills Smasher. It's good against stabilizing. Yeah, you can just get off the team. Pacifist is not great. <sighs> Looks like my opponent's early creatures are flyers. I guess Pacifist does set up double blocks. Kind of like a command because I'm going up on removal. Don't want a ton of hanger backs because flipping this is not huge, and keeping a hanger back through a tragic doesn't seem especially important. And we're cutting Nisa's, so we can't jump the curve there. I like this. And no second Atarka because I'm not interested in overloading, I'm just interested in not getting smashed. Uh, this hand's fine. Yeah, we just got crushed. That game. Two drop, three drop, smasher, smasher, counter, kill spell. It's a pretty nice six. I think that's the right sequence. I debated not casting Oath this turn, but... Pretty sure I'm just supposed to take a Tarka there. Abby's just like the worst possible card I could have there. Pretty sure that's just the blatantly obvious play. I'm fine cashing in two life for a card there. Because I'm trying to hit higher drops. But I don't want my opponent drawing cards in return. This is probably TKS. Which my hand is fine against on a lot of levels. My opponent's supposed to take Archangel here. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the Abbey. I don't know, it's because my cards are random, it's hard to tell if I'm just going to draw all lands or all spells. And I just hit the all spells half of it. Like, specifically the all high impact spells part. So I guess my best card here is, like, Nisa.
That was also decent. Not good, just decent. I think the worst case scenario is that we get TKS again. Smasher, I'm fine trading. Am I? Do I even do that? I don't even know if I traded with a Smasher. This is a bait. This has to be bait. Well, I'm just going to pass. I'm an Archangel. And then I'll tragic later. I'm not not casting the Savison. I wonder if my opponent's deck could get away with Exert Influence. That's fine. I'll take my two. Yeah, Exert Influence is definitely a card that's very underplayed. The card's pretty good. If you can reliably cast it. So I guess the problem is, is that a lot of the decks that have had four color mana bases prior to this have been Cryptolith Company decks, and those decks just don't have the room for a non creature spell. Wow, 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 wow. Think of all the value. Just think of the value. Oh my gosh, my cards are so good and I don't even take damage. Oh, I do? Oh my gosh, that's sad. I had to draw a card with that Thought Knots here. Shucks. I guess I'll just have to kill your things and make mana and do whatever I want. Put two Planeswalkers on the battlefield. Every card... If this is just Jund. Every card I cast is just two cards. That card's not even good against me. They're just conceding. They just can't even beat my cards. Yeah, I'm kind of off. Hmm. Kind of want another command. Kind of want to cut a tragic. It's a little clunky. I think the next, it's either tragic, good cards, still good cards, still good cards. I guess I could cut a Gideon. Gideon might be a liability on the draw. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? That's probably just straight up wrong, but... Double Gideon draws on the draw are just, like, super awkward. I think what else? Board out. Oath now. Hanger back. Maybe one of those. I actually can see being off of hanger back in this matchup. Just kind of slow versus all the stupid flyers. Yeah, that's what I should have boarded out, potentially a hanger back. 
Or me, no, I should have. I should have boarded the way I did, and then also put a pacifist back in for the hangar back. Um, and that way, I have these like Dramogus command draws that just like bring the beat down. Did I not submit my deck? Oh. Well, that was convenient. I could have changed it. I don't know why I just like didn't change it. It was just rushing to submit. Now yeah, look. A hand that has a bunch of cards that are good. And my opponent mulliganed. Every hand has good cards. Maybe this should have come out. I'm not sold on it in this deck right now. Um, oh, well. Opponent's going to five. That is a byproduct of our opponent's lovely mana base, probably. Though our mana is not the greatest either, so I can't really talk. Because our opponent could reflect your mages. That would suck. I'll gladly trade this for a Clash of Wills. Well, on turn six, we're going to get real wild up in here. Yeah, somehow my two drop from both of the Gate Watch. A little better than my opponent's. Just a little bit. It's a pretty fortunate draw for our opponent to have. And I would not worry about that paying cost notice. Um... Because the most likely culprit that caused it is my opponent trying to click Dimensional Infiltrator before entering the Declare Attacker step. You know, if they got it, they got it. If I lose this game to Declaration in Stone, I'm okay with it. This is just the kind of attitude you have to have in this format. Ah, yes. Killing one of them will surely help. I like how this just bricks a uh, smasher, too. Just like... Cast smasher, would you like to attack? No. Uh... Okay. Well... I did not draw a way to deal one extra damage. I had three seven outs plus Archangel Avacyn. So I died. So I was on 11 outs there. Yep. My opponent didn't have any other options other than the ones they took, I think. Because they have to deal lethal to me in two. Seven, eight outs as Nahiri, nine, ten as, uh. So I had seven outs to insta kill, 13. So I was like 33% from that spot, probably. Which is not very good. I guess Tragic also does it. Yeah, I was still like sub 50% on my top deck there. Hmm. I think that's the first time I've ever seen someone die to this magic card. Usually whoever casts it just loses. <laughs> 